everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a real short video on stripping a dresser top. So it's a total impromptu video. I literally was getting ready to do this process and thought I get asked this question a lot whether I strip or I sand my pieces when it comes to removing the finish for stain. And so I thought, you know what, I have to go through this process. Let's go through it together. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do, how I do it, how it comes out and all the good things. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, the question is, do I strip my furniture before staining it or do I sand it? Well, the majority of the time I sand, starting with a low grit sandpaper and working my way up to a fine grit sandpaper, uh, I just don't prefer to use chemical strippers. They're just not my favorite thing. However, there are those pieces where you know you're going to be there all day sanding if you don't. Now, the other thing is keep in mind, even though you're doing a stripper, you still do have to sand once that stripper is off, taken off this the majority of the gook, um, you are definitely still going to sand it. It's just going to be a lot less work. So in this particular case, I'll show you the piece here in just a second. It looks like, it looks like a lacquer to me. And I thought, mm, I'm going to be here forever and I really don't want to do that. So we're going to start with using the stripper and then I will sand the remainder of it once that's all dried. Now, there are different strippers on the market and um, one of the reasons I don't care for the chemical strippers is I have asthma, so I just try to stay away from things that may irritate that. Um, when I sand, I wear a dust mask, which really helps, and I also have a dust collection system, so that really, really helps me. I will be gloving up, definitely, and wearing a mask when I'm using this, but this is a pretty good stripper. I get this at Rockler Woodworking. I think you can order it online on Amazon as well. Um, it's Blue Bear Soy Gel, so it the chemical smell is a lot less. Being a soy-based product, um, it's not as strong or as bad, and it still does the job. I have used this in the past. So there's two things you're going to need. You're going to need your stripper and saran wrap. So here's the thing I do, and I'll show you guys. I go ahead and I load up the stripper all over the top of it, and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to walk away and start working on another project. It will start to work itself. I don't have to do anything. And putting the saran wrap on it traps that oxygen um, between and it allows it to work even better. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you the dresser. So this is the dresser here. It may not appear on camera like anything other than a polyurethane, but trust me when I tell you, they went over the top of the original urethane finish with another type of finish. And like I said, when I feel this and when I look at it in person, it really looks like a very, very heavy lacquered finish. So we're going to go ahead and put the stripper on. I'm going to read you just a tiny bit from the label here. Blue Bear Paint and Urethane Stripper is tried and true stripper used by consumers for over two decades. The consumer trusted remover effectively removes multiple layers of paint, varnish, enamel, urethane, and other simple coatings. Um, as well as lead-based paint. So made with soybeans, paint, and urethane stripper is safe, low odor, and non-caustic. Green caustic coating remover for any DIY project. So this is one of the reasons that I choose this particular stripper. Now the price point on this is about $28.99. So I don't even know in comparison to other strippers because I just don't even use them what it is, but I'll have a look out there and let you know what I think as far as price comparison. Sometimes though, it's just worth paying more for a product when you know that you like it. Um, so this says this bottle here covers about 125 square feet per gallon. So this is a 32 fluid ounce one quart. Um, so I've got plenty to do for this dresser top here. And as far as application goes, literally what I do is um, I just, it's got a, a squirt top, flip top. I just start squirting it on all over and then I use a foam brush so I can just toss it out when I'm done. And I start just getting it all over. Don't be afraid to load it up. You definitely wanna get an ample amount of product on there so that your stripper will do the work for you. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my mask on now and get this job. All right, so here we go. We're just going to go ahead and start putting this sucker on. And like I said, I'm just going to load it up. I want to get as much of this stuff on there so that it does the job 
I want it to do without me having to do a lot of the work. I have used this before. I know that it works very, very well. Um, you don't really need to spread it all nice and easy, thin, you know, or anything like that. You just want to get it on all the corners so that it will do its job. This is also, using this brush is also going to help me get it here without dripping all over the place. But like I said, the idea behind this is not neatness. You do not need to be neat and tidy when you're doing this. Um, the more the better. It's going to do a better job the thicker you get this stuff on. So keep that in mind. It's not a thin spread. I'm only using this foam brush and look what it's doing to the brush you guys. It is literally starting to destroy my brush. So yeah, you think I really like using this product a lot? I don't think so. <laughs> It's literally disintegrating my brush. So just keep getting it on here. I'm trying to work pretty quickly just because I don't like this stuff. Does it have a smell? Even as a soy based stripper, it definitely has a smell. So once I saran wrap it though, it's going to contain a lot of that smell. So. We are just gooping it on, people, getting this on here so that we can make sure we make less sanding work for ourselves. So before this brush completely disintegrates, I'm trying to work quickly so that I can get all my edges here all done. And then I'll show you, and then I'll show you how I go ahead and put the saran wrap on and we're just going to leave it once I do that. Now, if you get this stuff anywhere else that you don't want it, my recommendation, clean up right away. <laughs> so don't let this get on stuff you do not want it to sit on. I have this mask on and this is an excellent mask by um, RZ Masks. And let me tell you, I can still smell it. It's still very, very fragrant. So I'm gonna set actually this down. I've got a garbage can in the back here. Now I'm gonna take my saran wrap and I'm gonna go to town. And I'm literally covering the entire piece with my saran wrap from beginning to end. Nothing fancy here, you guys. The key, just get it covered. Do not, the other recommendation, don't do this inside. Uh, if you're thinking about it, don't do it. It is too smelly, even for this soy based stuff. Would not want, want this inside your house. Okay, it will stay wet and working for several hours. Longer is better. Once the coating is softened enough to remove with a scraper, um, then that's when you're gonna go ahead and start. You can also reapply if you need to, if you missed certain spots or what have you, you can do that. So I'm gonna finish getting this covered really good with saran wrap and I'm literally gonna let this sit the rest of the afternoon while I'm working on other projects. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead now and sit for the next probably about four hours. When I'm getting ready to wrap up shop tonight before I put everything away and clean up, I'll go back on camera and I'll show you guys the whole scraping thing. Now, my purpose today is really not worry. I'm really not worried about getting any of the stain off. That's a bonus if the stain starts to kind of lift off or maybe it comes off inconsistently. That's totally fine with me. The purpose of today's video is for me to penetrate that heavily lacquered finish and get all that off so that then I can go ahead and start sanding um, the rest of the finish off. So um, just so you know, when you're working with this and you put on your saran wrap, if you touch that saran wrap, it's pretty much gonna disintegrate. That's what stripper does. It pretty much disintegrates anything you touch. So just be very cautious when you're using it. Wear a mask, wear the gloves, do not over touch it too much. Just put it on and walk away. 
that's the whole key. I've pretty much used stripper maybe two or three times throughout my career. And um, yeah, so that kind of tells you how much I don't like working with it. Some pieces though, it's just, you know, it's gonna be the best option. So we'll see if this works. I'll get back. Okay guys, just to show you, this has been about, I think about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get in really close so you can see the grossness. But here, see, actually that's starting to penetrate through the stain, so that's awesome. But yeah, we are going to be, I think, completely successful at getting all this off. So here is where you can see again all of the, um, it's starting to penetrate the stain. Now, I right now have my mask off, as you can hear, and not even a bad odor. So for the most part, it's when you're putting it on, um, but afterwards, I'm out here, keep in mind, I'm in my workshop in a very well-ventilated area, so I have my mask off. I'm not really near the piece, but I do not smell it horribly at all, so keep you posted. Okay, you guys, so it has been about four hours. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and start to give it a go. Now, I have a plastic scraper that I can't find, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one very gently so I don't gouge it. So as long as I do not try to really work the stripper off of there, it should be fine. Um, I've used a metal one before, and this is what I'm going to use today. So... Um, the key is to work quickly and just go to town. So part of what you're seeing come off is the saran wrap as well as the top. So yeah, it, it definitely worked to remove a lot of that lacquery finish and that was my um, goal here. So all this gooky stuff, this stuff you see, this right here. Oh, you guys can't see that on camera. Hold on. All of this gooky stuff you see right here. Um, it's not only just the saran wrap, but it is that yellow is that um, lacquer finish. So I'm just going to very, here we go. Ah, gross. That's the top coat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gently scrape this. My goal, like I said today, is not to get down to the stain. My goal was to get all of that gross lacquer to finish off and I achieved my goal, so I am good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is get the rest of this off and then I will show you once it's all wiped down and clean. Once I get all of this off, then what I do is I wipe it down with a mineral spirits bath, I call it. Um, and yeah, look at that, you guys. Oh, it's so gross. It's satisfying, but gross. Um, so once I get all of this off, I'll wipe it down with a mineral spirits. Then I'm gonna just let it sit overnight. Then tomorrow I'll come back and I will start to sand. So that's it. So the other reason, it came off really good by the way, but the other reason I don't like to strip, look how messy, it's just messy. But it did take off all that lacquer. That is all the nasty lacquer. I need to go ahead and throw that all in a bag. So yeah, there you go. All right, you guys, that is it. That is the process in a nutshell. It is quite simple. It's just a little messy. Um, I appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you for being subscribers. Keep subscribing so you can get all of my videos. As always, if you have any questions or positive comments, make sure you put them down below. I always do enjoy getting back to you guys, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.